Hey guys, we're going to be covering um, complex conjugates in this session. Let's get started. All right, so we know that complex number uh, could be written as x plus i y. So in this case, if I say if z equals x plus i y, then the conjugate of z will be written with this format here, with like a little, um, with a little purple, not a purple line. I mean, it's just a line on top of z to say that it's a conjugate. Now what does a conjugate mean? It basically means just the imaginary part will become minus. So in other words, z hat or the conjugate of z would equal x minus i y. Okay, that's basically the idea of um, complex conjugates. So if you want to have a look at a couple of examples, so let's say we have z equals 3 plus 4i then the conjugate of z would equal 3 minus 4i. Notice it's just the imaginary numbers where uh, where the sign changes. Having a look at another example, if z equals negative 2 minus 3i, then the conjugate of z would be negative 2 plus 3i. And once again, you can notice it's just the imaginary parts that will be changing its uh, symbol. All right, moving on. We're going to look at um, complex conjugates in, in an argon diagram. So here we go. We've got two little dots here. Uh, we're going to call this uh, black one here as Z. So Z is written as 2 plus 3i. Now we know we can work out the conjugate of Z. So the conjugate of Z would equal 2 minus 3i. And basically that's what you see here in the purple dot. So the purple dot is just the conjugate of the black dot on top. So this will be written as z with a little line on top to say that it's the conjugate. Okay. Let's have a look at a couple of examples how, where how this works out. So if we have x equals 2 plus 3i and y equals negative 1 minus 8i, we want to find the conjugate of x plus conjugate of y, and then we want to figure out the conjugate of the product of x, y. All right, so let's work out um, the conjugate of x first. That's nice and simple. That's just going to be 2 minus 3i, just changing the imaginary number symbol. And of course, the conjugate of y would equal negative 1 plus 8i. Now combining these two, so we have conjugate of x plus conjugate of y, which means we have 2 minus 3i plus negative 1 plus 8i. Simplifying this, we are going to get negative 1 plus 5i. That is how you work out the first one. Now looking at the second one, what we actually need to do is work out the product of xy first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work out xy first. So I've got 2 plus 3i multiplied by negative 1 minus 8i. Now this is just standard expansion, guys, that you would have done in the last two videos maybe. So we would have negative 2 minus 16i minus 3i, then we've got minus 24i squared. Simplifying this, we've got negative 2 minus 19i plus 24, because i squared is negative 1, negative 24 times negative 1 is positive 24, and simplifying this, we're going to get 22 minus 19i. Now this is what xy is. So if we want to work out what the conjugate of xy, the product of well, the product of x and y, so conjugate of xy would simply be 22 plus 19i. Okay. Well, guys, that's some of the basic ideas of complex um, conjugates or conjugates of complex numbers. Uh, that's about it for the session. Thanks for watching.